what's going on lads and welcome to another video. I don't normally do player reviews but Fernando Torres came out at the end of an era, 95 Fernando Torres so I thought why not. Legendary player for Chelsea, Liverpool, Atletico Madrid, Spain and everybody else who's played for AC Milan, whatever. Top top player and for 80k I thought I've got to do it, I've got to do a review for you guys. Got to put him out there, see if you guys will buy him, see if he puts you off him. But there's a lot to explain about Fernando Torres. Basically, Fernando Torres is a strange player in game. Absolutely strange. Like, I don't know if he's good or bad even after using him. Like, I cannot tell you. Basically, he plays like he does in real life. He shoots weird. He runs weird. He dribbles weird. Like, his shooting is inconsistent, but it is good. It's strange. Very strange. But... He shoots like he does in real life, like I said, like his finesse shots don't really have a whip, don't really have a curve, like he hasn't got any traits, so he doesn't have finesse shot traits, etc. So his finesse shots like go straight, and you will see a couple of clips where two finesse shots are exactly the same, one hits the post, one goes completely over the bar, and one goes in off the bar, so you will see Fernando Torres is really weird, um, all for champions gameplay, so it's all verified gameplay, not little... Uh, friendly games or whatever online single matches so it's all good gameplay you'll see how good he actually is in foot champions um, but like I said don't know if he's good don't know if he's bad I, I, I would give him a good rating just because of how cheap he is um, if you want to use him for SPC for that whatever um, but for 80k from scratch a 95 rated Fernando Torres cannot go on this if it was if it's down to me guys seriously um, Get into his stats, six for one, so decent height for a striker. Medium, medium work rates. Didn't really find that a problem. I felt that he made really good runs. Um, weak foot four star, which is good. Three star skill moves, which is. Is it a con? I'd class it as a con because most people who play this game will use the certain skills, the lack of cares and whatever. So I would put that down as a con. You can see he scored five goals in four games. Um, another thing as well, the chemistry style that I would use, I would definitely boost his pace. And I feel he had good pace, but like with the engine, he gets, he's got 93 acceleration and 99 sprint speed. So I feel without a pace chemistry style, he would be caught up a lot. But his acceleration does seem really good with an engine. So I would probably use that because it bumps his dribbling up as well. His passing it doesn't really matter. But it bumps his dribbling and pace up, which is good. Um, shooting stats are good enough. His heading stats are good, good enough and physical. So I would go with pace and passing, and engine gets the get, gets the best of both. Um, obviously, he's hard to link. I got lucky and got Aspas in my red picks, and I've obviously got Raul. So he's on ten chemistry. I wanted to use him on ten chemistry because it gives you a, a raw review then, um, basically at his best. So, but basically, I'm going to show you the gameplay now. Um, I've, shot, I've put everything in now, I've put misses, uh, chances created, um, goals he was involved in and goals obviously that he scored. So you can make your own mind up by watching the gameplay, but I'll give the review at the end and the rating. So stay tuned to the end guys and the gameplay is coming up now. Like I said guys, I've included uh, chances created, chances missed, um, goals, other people's goals that Torres was involved in. You'll see there that wasn't really the best start getting off with that, uh, that shot there. Then he makes up for it with that header at the near post. What I will say about Torres is his position is really, really good. Like you can see the chances he's getting in front of goal. He's always in the right position when it comes, um, basically when it drops to him off off a rebound, off a, the second ball. But he will, like that was his acceleration there, that won that penalty. Um, that was all Torres. He literally turned his man. I think it, I think it was, um, was that Sergio? I think it was the purple Sergio Ramos that he actually turned there. So obviously no slouch of a defender. Um, but he actually misses, that's my fault, not Torres's. Um, I'm poor at taking penalties. But the chances like he has is down to him making the run. So if you just let him do what he he, he does as a striker, you'll you'll get the most out of him basically. But what I will say, he drags his shots a lot. Um, like you, that kind of chance he gets a lot, but he doesn't always convert it because of there's just something about him that like I said, he's got no traits or no speciality, so his shooting is just completely standard. It's completely raw off the bat. There isn't anything that he improves on. Like if this was a striker with like distance or clinic, distance shooting, clinical finisher or something, he puts that in. But because it's Torres, his shooting is completely standard. So his shots are just like straight at goal. There's no, there's no, um, 
there's no variation. But this is a good good example of his positioning. He was there in the right spot to tap it in. That's what Fernando Torres used to do. Um, like I said, he's strange. Very, very strange. Hard to rate. He's hard to rate as a player because he like that. He his shooting is just like I said, it's raw, it's standard. It's there's nothing special to his shooting. Like you compare him with Vaspas, they've got similar shooting stats. Um, let's go to his goal now. What a touch! First touch, and that was clinical. First touch, banged into the far post. So that's what he can do if you get him into the right positions. But like I was saying, I was comparing him with Aspas, who's got similar shooting stats. Aspas is shooting like on the finesse shot and stuff. He's so much better. Like it curves, it go, it goes to like it bends in, it goes towards goal a lot more than Fernando Torres is, which is down to his speciality and traits. So, see, what I mentioned earlier, this is the inconsistency of his shooting. That was you saw the first shot that I had of him, completely over the bar of a finesse shot from central of the goal. That one there hit the post from bang in the middle of the goal, and then this one, the exact same spot, barring in. He's very inconsistent, very, very inconsistent. But for his coins, for the cost of this SBC, I don't think you can really go wrong. You're not going to be expecting Ronaldo stats with Fernando Torres. You're getting what you pay for in 80k at this stage of FIFA. But for me, he's good. Very good value for coins. Um, I'll give you my review in a few seconds, my full review in a few seconds. But for me, he's worth it. Definitely worth it. Um, he goes off and does the Neymar celebration here. But I'll see you for the full review in two seconds, guys. That's it for the review, guys. You saw the gameplay. You can make your own decision on Torres. Me, personally, I would give him possibly an 8 out of 10. 7, 7 8 out of 10. 8 at a push, 7 being a bit harsh, just because of his value, 80 k And a lot of you guys will probably get Fernando Torres for nothing because it's just after rewards. There's a lot of team of the seasons that you've probably packed. That you can just throw into an SPC, um, but 80k from scratch if you have to for a 95 rated striker, it's dirt cheap. It's nothing like it's cheaper than his flashback card was. So I would do it personally. Seven eight out of ten. I'm gonna say an eight, like I said, just because of value. But he is a good striker. He's just hard to get into a team. Um, three star skill moves as well lets him down. But yeah, guys, eight out of ten for me. Um, that's the Fernando Torres review, guys, and I will see you in the next video.